In this lesson, we'll discuss three examples involving transamination and oxidative deamination. The first question reads, write the equation for the transamination of glutamate and oxaloacetate by drawing the condensed structural formulas. In a transamination reaction, a transaminase enzyme catalyzes the transfer of the alpha amino group of an amino acid to an alpha keto acid, such as oxaloacetate or alpha ketoglutarate or even pyruvate. The products formed are a new amino acid and a new alpha keto acid. In case that's confusing to you, let's go ahead and figure this one out. First, let me draw out what glutamate looks like. We have the central carbon and its hydrogen bonded to NH3+, and that is bonded to the carboxyl group. And the R group for glutamate looks like this. CH2, CH2, and that's bonded to another carboxyl. Oxaloacetate looks like this. So we have plus carbon, that is a carboxyl, that's bonded to another carbon that is double bonded to oxygen. So we have a ketone there, and then we have the rest of the molecule, CH2 and another carboxyl. Now the enzyme aspartate transaminase catalyzes the reaction between this oxygen and this part of this molecule, the amine group, where the amine group and this double bonded oxygen change place. Let me show you that. This forms two brand new molecules. This one goes from being glutamate to alpha ketoglutarate, whereas this one goes from being oxaloacetate to the amino acid aspartate. For the second part of this question, what are some of the possible names for the enzyme that catalyzes the reaction in the example above? Well, I already discussed it, one of which is aspartate transaminase. Other literature call it glutamate aminotransferase or glutamate transaminase or even aspartate aminotransferase. They're all the same thing and they're listed underneath for reference. In question number three, Indicate whether each of the following represents a transamination or an oxidative deamination. The first one being glutamate is converted to alpha keto glutarate plus NH4 plus, which is ammonium. Oxidative deamination occurs when the NH3 plus group in glutamate is removed as an ammonium ion, being NH4 plus. So the first one is oxidative deamination. And in the process, alpha keto glutarate is produced. The enzyme that catalyzes the oxidative deamination is glutamate dehydrogenase, and the reaction is shown underneath. Notice the reduction of NAD plus to NADH in the process. For part B, alanine and alpha ketoglutarate react to form pyruvate and glutamate. This is a transamination reaction because transamination reactions occur when an amino group is transferred from an amino acid to an alpha keto acid, such as alpha ketoglutarate, and we saw that earlier in one of our questions. Lastly, is the reaction catalyzed by glutamate dehydrogenase, which requires NAD+, we spoke about this a moment ago, an example of transamination or oxidative deamination. It will be oxidative deamination, not transamination. And there you have it. Three separate examples based on transamination and oxidative deamination.